Jim's out. This mean they cleared up that snow pirate nonsense? Not exactly. Braddock busted me out. He's got a plan. Says you should all hightail it up to Delta Station quick and quiet. Pass it along, okay? Hang on, Jim. You don't look like you're falling back to Delta. If we're picking a fight here, I want in. I don't think open rebellion against trained mercenaries is the plan. Let's try to avoid a bloodbath if we can. Get everybody to Delta. I'll see you there soon. Kill me. I don't understand. After everything I did. Yeah, you screwed up. But your family. Phil, they've cut off access to this elevator. I'm gonna try the other one. Sure. I feel strange. Man, they drugged you. It'll pass. Listen, we need to get out of here. Can you run? I don't know. What'd they give her? Sodium, uh, something bad. Can you watch her? Sure thing, kid. Go do what you gotta do. Thanks, Birdie. Get yourself to Delta Station as soon as you can. Phil, she's free. What now? It's pandemonium over here. Your rig. We need it for what's next. Still a lot of bogeys between me and Gertie. Time for phase three, then. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Corona's vessel is under attack by snow pirates. All Nevic units move in now. Repeat, all Nevic troops to Corona's vessel. <laughs>
all of Eisenberg's men are massing on the Corona ship or on the Nevik cruiser docked to it. We've got to act fast before they smell the trap. I don't know, boss. Even with the element of surprise, we don't have the manpower for a frontal assault. I know, Jim. That's why we're scuttling the whole shebang. I've set charges at the key structural points, keeping the Corona stable. If it goes down, so does the cruiser. And so does Eisenberg and his whole wretched army. Are you serious? Less effort to keep Coronas from falling into the ravine. Now we're gonna knock her down on purpose? It's the only way to save our crew and the survivors from the first colony. But first, you're gonna have to destroy the moorings. This feels pretty crazy wrong, boss. Listen, Jim. There's no future for Coronas. I saw the writing on the wall when Eisenberg marched in that so-called snow pirate girl right in front of our crew. After all the lives they've been willing to sacrifice to keep their secrets, what's that tell you? My men mean nothing to them. Just more witnesses to a race. If I can't give you anything else, I owe you a fighting chance. All right, it's done. That's all of them. Good work, Jim. Now take the elevator up to Delta. Make sure everyone's safe. Wait, aren't you at Delta too? I'll see you there, Phil. Right? Jim, don't blame yourself for any of this. You were right to hide them from me. I couldn't have protected them. I couldn't even protect Bonnie. So much loss I could never undo. But I can do something. What are you talking about, boss? Just meet me at Delta. We'll work everything out. Bill? Braddock, do you copy? Boss, what's going on? Braddock, where are you? Right where I need to be, Jim. Braddock? What's that mean? King Fisher, squad's convened Corona side on your order. Nobody's here. What? I did not give that order. Get out of there! Do you hear me? Get the hell out! Forgive me. Where's Braddock? Where's the old man? He went down with the ship. What? Why? It was a ruse. He lured them in. The Nevak troops, they're all gone. He saved us. Damn it, Braddock, why did you do that? You need to lie to me just one last time. How the hell are you gonna take care of my family now? Jim? Gracie. called in every last favor to get them free of Eisenberg. He gave her a choice. She insisted on coming here. I just had to be there to intercept the drop. Nice to see a plan work out for once. Where's our little boy? <laughs> the snow cat's still groggy from the cry of sleep. God, he's not even gonna recognize me. Look, Gracie, you know this place ain't safe. You shouldn't be. Shh. We're together now. We're gonna stay that way. You got it? Whatever comes, we're facing it together. No regrets. There's so much to tell you. Peyton! Peyton! Doc, hang on. Colonel Eisenberg is still at large. He knows all about Nushi. He 
Someone's going there now. He's got a military rig and my revised prototype. Wait, the Agrid go berserk device? Well, that can't be good. He thinks he can use it to control Agrid, resonating his signal through Nushi, influencing Agrid all over the planet. But that's crazy, isn't it? He won't be able to use all the frequencies all at first, but through trial and error, I expect he'll figure out at least enough to kill us all. I'm gonna pass out now. Gale, Mirror, get back to that satellite relay and blow it to hell. Are you serious? This place is ours to protect now. If I can't stop Eisenberg, calling for backup is gonna be his first move. Go, now! Home sweet home. Come back to me. Always.
Sounds to me like the perfect antenna. Let's see. I believe if I do this...
because she's still friends with me. After all that, your friends are still gonna die. You failed, Peyton. Here's the thing, Colonel. Knew she. She's alive. You're standing in her heart. What are you? Stalling, Peyton? Buying time? For what? Just not a bad idea.
What? No defiant quips? Starting to sink in that you're not the triumphant hero? <laughs> Surely you realize Nevik will come back for me. Don't bank on it. I think you're dead. I think I can figure out the relay once we're done here. Maybe. Except Mira's blown the whole thing up by now. You're bluffing. Without the relay, you'd be stuck here yourself. Yeah. Home sweet home. Scientist friend, before I put her down. could survive after that. Jim? Jim? Honey, what happened? Most of the remaining energy reserves that used up were just healing me. Well, most of me. They were grateful. Said all debts were paid. But they didn't know the truth of what I'd done. Like Soyuchi before me, I dedicated myself to protecting those I'd endangered. And you know all about Gale and Mira? Together they were unstoppable. They ran with their father's work and built the first harmonizers. Mimicking new sheep, purifying base T energy to sustain and extend life. Thanks to them, we survived. Without Nushi around to maintain the climate, the whole planet was vulnerable to terraforming and all the nightmares that came with it. Even our best efforts couldn't keep this world a secret forever. Harmonizer tech was just another prize to fight over. By the time a Crimson Unity landed, it was a war without end. Gale took the fight to them. I tried to keep us secret and safe. But our struggles would go on for generations. The birthright of blood for our children. And our grandchildren. I'm sorry this is the life you were born to. My fight ends today. Mm. May you live to see the end of this. 
Forgive me. Please don't. Jim, are you in here, mon ami? Rush? Is he, uh... If anyone's earned peace at last, it's him. Au revoir, my oldest friend. Don't worry. You've taught her well. All grandfather's stories were now my own. My destiny my own to shape. What if... it could all be over? What if we could turn the tables and take this planet back?